Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do an unboxing and review on this Farberware Kettle Cool Touch Stainless Steel Electric Kettle. It's 1.7 liters, which is about 1.8 quarts. It's got auto off. It's cool to the touch when it's warm. We're going to check that out. It's got seven different temperatures. It's got a two year warranty. It's 1,500 watts. So it does have a pretty heavy duty three prong plug that you're going to need um, an outlet that can handle 1,500 watts. So let's go over dimensions. It's sitting on its base. It's about 10 and a quarter. Up here to the handle is about eight. And down at the base is about six. The cord is 27 inches long. So the unit is on a base. So that's the, where the electricity is. That's how it heats the kettle. And the model number is FW112SS1000024405. Okay, so when I first plugged it in, it did beep at me. Now the base does have some cord storage. You gotta wrap it around and then it'll come out this back here. The base is pretty much all plastic. Again, there's the electrical connection. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're not getting any water down there. So let's look at this. It says it's got a stainless steel outer there's a temp button and an on off and there's a display there I'll show you. The lid, it pops open automatically. Now there are markings down in there to show you how much water you've added. They're in liters. So 0.3 liters, 0.6, 1.2 and 1.5. 1 1.7 is the max. So you don't want to fill it all the way up. The max line is kind of down far. You don't want to fill it up here. The bottom of it's pretty Clean. So I, I don't think there's a way to detach this lid. It looks pretty. Yeah, I see a spring down there. So, but it. So when you close it, it, it snaps close. When you open it, it only opens this far. But you can push it just a little farther, and it will open a little farther. That way, you can get in there and kind of clean. There's like a temperature probe down at the bottom. There's what the lid looks like. There's that, that latch when we push that button. There's where the water's gonna come out. So there's no way of seeing how much water you've got installed or in there. Again, there's the electrical connection. So let's put some water in it and see how it boils. Okay, so I've got it filled up. It was pretty easy to fill up. Um, it's kind of heavy with all that water in there, so be careful. And the handle feels good. We gotta put it on the base. Okay, so when I put it on the base, it beeped at me. Close the lid. Again, make sure the lid is snapped closed. That's pretty sensitive. All right, so let's see. You can't adjust the temperature until you turn it on. So 212 is boiling. 104, 122, 140, 158, 176, 212. Okay, so once you set the temperature, you gotta let it sit. Don't hit any more buttons. Cycle through the what temperature you want. And then I heard kind of like a relay click and now it's starting to heat. So you turn it on, select what temperature you want and then let it just sit and you will hear like a little click and then it's starting to heat. So I'll time this to see how long it takes this whole pot to come to a boil. Now this looks like the current temperature of the water. So that's kind of nice. It's telling me what the current temperature is right now. It's 86 degrees going up. So it's pretty quiet right now. It's going to get a little bit noisier, but right now we're at 104. It's been about a minute. I can start to hear it just a little bit, but it's pretty quiet right now. So it's been about two minutes. We're at 130. Yeah, it's, it's cool to the touch. Whoops. Be careful. That is very sensitive. It turned it off really quick. So, but then I just pressed it again. It turned it on. And I, I let it, it's, it remembered what temperature it was at, 212. Or, so again, when you're touching this, yeah, this is cool to the touch. 
So it's getting a little noisier. Now it says it beeps one time every time it's placed on the base, three beeps when it has reached its temperature and it switches to standby mode. This also says it has boil dry protection. If you forget to put water in there and somebody touches it, it will turn itself off if there's no water in there. Okay, so if any time during the, like it's at 172 right now, if I take this off the base, it remembers where it was at. So when I put it back on, it picks up right where it left off. I don't have to turn it back on. It remember, if you do that within 30 seconds, it will uh, turn it back on and try to reach that temperature that you're wanting to get. So it's getting a little bit noisier, not too bad. We're at 188, it's been about five minutes. So yeah, this is still cool to the touch. I like that part of it. Gets kind of a little warm right in here, but that's about it. So we're about at the six minute mark. We're at 209 and I can hear the water's really boiling in there now. We're getting quite a bit of steam coming out here. Those are the beeps. Goes to standby mode. Okay, so let's, let's see how it pours. I don't have to take the lid off, just leave the lid closed. Pour the water and put it back on the base. Now let's see the temperature. That cooled off really quick, 199, 200. So yeah, it's cooling off really quick, but it did. I mean, it was definitely a boiling because you could hear it boiling in there. Now, when I put it back on the base, it did sort of, it shut itself off. So it's not gonna maintain that 210 degree or 212 degrees. If I, if I wanna reheat that again, just hit the button. The default is 212. So if you don't touch anything, it'll, and then it'll boil it back up to 212. But it already says that it's at 212, so it shut itself off again. So let's have a look. If you open the lid, yeah, the water's at 207, 208, 209, 211. So yeah, that's really, really hot water. So, the lid gets maybe a little warm, not too bad here. Here it gets a little warm right in here. Down here is not too bad. You know, you're definitely it definitely gets hot. It's not cool to the touch. That's that's actually pretty hot. I'm actually a little surprised because it did say cool to the touch. Now, it's not gonna burn me. Well, if I keep it on there for a really long time, it could. So unfortunately cleanup is you can't put this in the dishwasher or anything and you can't take the lid off. So you're just going to have to dump the water out and uh, open this up and just kind of wash in there with a soap rag and that. Don't get any water it says around the display or on the bottom where the electrical connection is. So you got to kind of keep the water up there. And it just says use mild uh, dish detergent. So it was pretty fast. It was pretty quiet. I sort of like the display. That's a little different. I'm used to the plastic ones that you can kind of see into. So this one, you definitely can't see into it at all. Thanks everybody for watching.